Welcome back. This is a follow-up to my video on the Hemi 260 scale layout. Um, let's call this the Hemi 260 Runners Up Club. Uh, what you can see here is I have two slide rolls with a very similar layout to this Dewa 720, uh, which I've used in the Hemi 260 video to show the Hemi 260 scale layout. Um, let's look at how they differ from the Hemi 260. Uh, they're more similar than they are different. And so I like all of these scale layouts. Um, this Aristo 970 moves the L scale from the back to the front and puts it in with the folded scales. Uh, so we have five um, scales here on the slide. Um, I make the suggestion in the Hemi 260 video. Um, okay, uh, but that means on the reverse, the Aristo 970 kind of seems a little bit lacking, like you could fit more scales here. Uh, you can see the differences here. I have a P scale. Um, that's the only real scale difference, but uh, but it looks like you could fit two more scales, so why not have them? Um, I'm not sure exactly why Aristo doesn't have them. Maybe it's to differentiate from the Aristo 968, which has a P scale. Um, not really sure. Um, okay, but the Aristo 970, a nice layout. I like it for the reasons that I like the Hemi 259-260 layout. Um, nice slide roll, easy to use, nice to learn on. Um, okay, let's have a look at this kind of wacky slide roll. This is a Graphoplex 690A uh, French slide roll, um, all plastic. Um, it has the uh, double-sided plastic braces, which I like. It also has these little feet which hold the cursor off the table, um, which make, make it possible to use on the table without scratching. Um, now, it's very similar to the Hemi 260 layout, but what's the difference? Um, well, unlike the Arista, which has moved the L scale to the slider on the front, they've moved to the K scale. So they have the Hemi 260 layout, uh, folded scales, six log log scales on the front, but they move that K scale from the back to the front. Okay, so let's, let's see what that frees up on the back. Um, Okay, what does it free up on the back? Well, where that K scale was, they had a T2 scale. Now this is really strange uh, because the T1 scale is on the slide, so uh, Graphoplex has this on a few different slide rolls where they have um, one tangent scale on the base and one on the slide. Uh, I think that that makes it really kind of weird because you're going to have to change how you do trigonometry uh, depending on the size of the angle. Um, maybe it's better than not having it, it's just kind of a strange choice. Um, other than that, everything else is the same. You have the same scales on the slide, slight rearrangement. You have the P and the DI scale. Um, so I like the Graphoplex slide roll. It's just uh, a strange choice <laughs> to uh, to put that K scale on the slide. That's not the strangest thing. You'll see other slide rolls with that, although it's a little bit more rare. Um, but the very the, the really weird thing about this slide roll is the T2 scale on the base. I do like... Um, how they have put scale extensions with um, changing color, uh, something that DIWA doesn't do. All right, so here are the Graphoplex 690A slide roll and the Aristo 970 slide roll, very similar scale sets to the Hemi 259-260. Um, I like them a lot, and let me know what you think.